There's the next cross. Te doy gracias por darme la fortaleza para superar. I can see another. There's the next cross. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. en adentrarte en la selva para echar un vistazo? ¿A buscar qué? Looks like there's something here. Wait, I can push this. Got it! Hello? When I first laid eyes on Angel de la Cruz, I knew I met a man of worth. Pull up. Can't carry any more. Oh, thank God. There you are. Yes. Who are you? Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. Uh, I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> What's so funny? 
Can one of those people be Sarah? I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here. In preparation for the ultimate test, I had begun to explore the crypts and tombs found Oscar's knowledge of the two afterlives be sufficient to guide us, if we arrive in either. I was not worthy. Forgive me for my hubris. me, don't worry. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I've spent the night in a <sighs> crypt.
I know now that I am not the chosen one. Now I fear I have endangered the lives of Brother de la Cruz and the sisters of the mission. Isabella, I see daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Please, tell me Isabella's okay. She is, but she's hurt her ankle, so we'll have to go back and get her. No, I could not stand to inconvenience you any further. And besides, Sarah tells me you have something important of your own to do. Please, let Isa's friends take care of her from here. You'll need a couple of people and a lot of rope to get her out. I'll round them up right away. Where is she exactly? Take the main road across the river, then follow the crosses. Wait, the crosses? Did she find something? She found the crypt Manu told her about. She did? That's wonderful. Oh, I, I'm so happy for her. I should have gone with her, and I feel terrible about her ankle. But despite that, this is the adventure Isa's always dreamed of. She also suggested that maybe Sarah could be a member of her rescue party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll make sure of it. And speaking of Manu and his crazy stories, if you're looking for something hidden around here, you should probably talk to him. It worked for Isa. He's usually holding court around the mission. And thank you again for finding Isabella. I don't know what I would have done if... Just make sure she gets back safe. This jungle hides so many places. Even Maya Rule. You must be Manu. Who's that? Who's there? She's the one who found the treasure. Is that right, Diego? Well, well, what can I do for you? I overheard you telling the children about the Maya ruins. Finally, someone who pays attention. Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ha! I knew it, I knew it. No one ever listens to old Manu, but I was right. <sighs> so you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. I recognize something in your voice. The thrill of discovery, of finding something, some place unseen for hundreds or even thousands of years. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? There's no feeling like it. The taste of stale, dusty air still gets my heart racing. These modern people, these so-called realists, they close themselves off from such wondrous possibilities. They can't even imagine some of the things I've seen. Ah, that I would give anything to see again one last time. 
Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. You could at that, yes. Do you remember where the ruins were? Now, where were they? I remember a pool fed by three waterfalls. Uh, I wish I could give you better directions, but it's been so many years. I should be able to find it. And when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, if you could do that for me. Touch that, that history. I would... I would be so... Say no more, Manu. I'll find it. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sect of Seven. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. Looks like it's from the 17th century. The others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. The door closed and a silence settled, so great and so vast I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He... Twenty-fifth of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence. A heron and an eclipse. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. <laughs> 26th of December. 1603. 
Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said. A cold determination. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper. be darkened and the moon will not give its light the end of days. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived. Tardaremos eternidades. ¿Cuántos años? Un paso. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps. Un día a la vez, como si tuviéramos elección. be darkened and the moon will not give its light His wings you may seek refuge. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. There's a whole mural under here. Cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are just stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. 
Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross line around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from the fingers? We'll find a way. Edsley is young to have all that responsibility. It must be pretty hard for him. I can only imagine. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Station two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. somewhere. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. Hey, it worked! The light leads this way. Looks like the light activated something. Laura! Are you all right? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be station four. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. These people look like they were tortured, hung up in the ceiling. I don't think this was just a crypt.
This must be Station 4. Let's have a look at these frescoes. I don't think this was just a crypt. I'll get it. Look, someone else got close. He wasn't as lucky. Is that what I think it is? The stations of the cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be station six. Looks like a have church. To use the light These ones to are the like stations monks. of the cross. Uh -huh. Stage the whole crucifixion with mummies? Seems sacrilegious. I think this is a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Have to use the light beam to follow the stations of the oh, cross. This is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around where Lopez was. That inscription, do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. What's the first step of the crucifixion? Not sure. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother, then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time, then he is crucified and finally entombed. Maybe it's on the pamphlet.
use the light beam to follow the Stations of the Cross. What's the first step of the crucifixion? Not sure. Maybe it's on the pamphlet. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Stations of the Cross. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh huh. Jesus, nailed to the cross. Think he's taking up the cross. He's carrying the cross. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion of mummies? Seems sacrilegious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. They're carrying him. They're lifting him. She's wiping his face, I think. to follow the Stations of the Cross. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around when Lopez was. That inscription, do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay. Have to Let's use the this. light beam to follow the Stations of the Cross. 